Hey you guys, welcome back to Tried and True. Today I'm shooting from Japan. I'm in Tokyo with my friend Jess. She's working over there right now while I'm sitting on the bed to share you my favorite things this week. Um, so enjoy this Airbnb while it lasts. We head to Kyoto tomorrow. First thing I wanna talk about that I'm loving right now um, is the combo of statement earrings and sweaters. I actually have a post going up today on the blog featuring three different combos that I'm really loving right now. Um, but this pair of Kenneth J. Lane earrings is definitely um, a new favorite. It's just the perfect hammered gold look for holiday. Um, you can wear it with cream, which is what I've paired it with on the blog. Camel looks great with black. I mean, doesn't gold look good with anything, really? I'm, I feel like it does, especially this time of year. It's sort of an effortless, glamorous look. Um, they're really not that heavy. They look pretty heavy, and they kind of sound heavy, um, but they don't weigh your ears down. They don't hurt after several hours. Um, I'm really enjoying them, so check those out. Let's see what's next. We, when we first got over here, one of our goals was to find green tea Kit Kats, and we found them yesterday at a train station, and we ate almost the entire bag. We only have four left. These are my two, Jess has two, um, but they're so, so good. If you're ever over here, get them. I believe you can get them in the U.S., but I don't think they're available at like a regular CVS. Somebody was telling me on Snapchat that you can get them in the U.S., but I think it was like a specialty store. But they're definitely over here, so check them out. They're green tea Kit Kats. Also, sort of funny fact about them. Another person was telling me a few weeks ago that the inside filling between the wafers is actually crushed up Kit Kats. So like the defects at the factory that didn't turn out looking good, but still taste like Kit Kats, that's what they use. They crush it up and that's what they use as the filling in a Kit Kat. So just a little tidbit of information. Next, um, I, you, if you follow me on Snapchat, you may have seen me talk about a few pairs of crude optic sunglasses. I'm such a big fan, but um, the first two I tried just did not look good on my face, unfortunately, but I did end up getting this pair from Tucker Nook. I just think they're so fun and they're different. I love the gold framing. What do y'all think? I like them. I just think they're unique and all of my sunglasses are pretty much Celine, so I just wanted to add a little bit of a different look to the mix. Um, they look great with black. I mean, they look great with my outfit. I may wear them today, actually. But they're, I think they're like $200. Um, they're really lightweight, though. Um, unlike some of my other sunglasses, they don't leave a mark on my nose, on the bridge of my nose. These are great if you want something lightweight. Um, and they're a great year-round sunglass. So, sunglasses, is that a thing? Sunglasses, whatever. Next, um, so if you saw my packing video, you saw that I wasn't packing coats for this trip. That was a big mistake because it is now 42 degrees and the heaviest thing that I had packed was a Vince cardigan. Now, I will say that the Vince cardigan is really heavy but it's sort of porous. So if it's windy, I don't stand a chance and freeze to death. Um, so a couple days ago when we saw the forecast and we were sort of walking around chilly, we stopped in Uniqlo. If you don't know what Uniqlo is, it's a Japanese brand. It's actually global though. You can get it in New York. Um, they have a US online store. It's sort of like an H&M or a Zara, but Japanese version of that. Um, but we walked in there to just find some good layering pieces, one of which I, I'm talking about in the newsletter today. But I got this camel coat. Like, how gorgeous is that? I'm going to wear it today with this camel sweater as sort of a monochrome look. But it's only $150. It is, like, tailored to perfection. It fits perfectly. I got a medium, and I normally wear a size 6, so fits true to size. Um, and I can wear sweaters under it without feeling like bulky or it feeling too tight. Um, but I love the way it looks. You can see it on my Instagram that I posted yesterday, but again, $150 for a coat, like, yes, sign me up. So I'll put a link to that below if you want to shop it, but definitely check out Uniqlo if you haven't before. Great place to get inexpensive outerwear, sweaters, layering pieces, that kind of thing. 
And then last but not least, because it is so cold, I always get really chapped lips this time of year. Um, and so I'm always looking for the next best chapstick. And um, in one of the gift boxes that I've received from First Aid Beauty, I know I've talked about some of their stuff on here before that I love, um, but I hadn't tried this lip balm and it was part of this, it was part of the gift box. So I've been using this and it's great. It's sort of got a eucalyptus smell, so it feels like, you know, it feels like medicinal almost. But it's it's super balmy. It's not like shiny or oily or anything, but it really protects my lips against the wind. Um, it just makes them feel better. It soothes, the, soothes them. Um, but anyway, it's not too expensive. I will link it below, but it's just a great thing to have in your purse have it in your desk drawer. Um, just keep your lips, keep your lips nice and moisturized this time of year. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, hopefully I will have time to shoot next week. Obviously I shot this sort of last minute today. So stay tuned for more favorites and I'm shooting a lot of video content over here to do a mashup of my travels. So stay tuned for that as well. And I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.